Hey, it's Andrew from AlienSunshade.com and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install your front Alien Sunshade on a Jeep Wrangler JL and JLU. Four short bungees, two medium bungees, two long bungees, four T-bar bungees, four windshield clips, our front windshield clip tool, and the front alien sunshade. We always recommend leaving your shade out in the sun for at least 15 to 30 minutes. This is going to loosen up the material and actually get rid of any creases that you have in your shade due to shipping. All right, so the first step that we're gonna to wanna to do is attach the T-bar bungee to the windshield clip up front. So I'm gonna show you up close what this clip looks like. You can see on the top, there's the longer part, and on the bottom, it's a shorter piece. So the short piece is going to attach to the T-bar bungee, and this long portion is gonna be the side that clips into the leading edge of the windshield. So essentially, it's going to go like that. So we don't need the clip right away. We do need to use this tool that we include. You feed it through the looped portion of the bungee, and you're gonna to wanna to find the outside windshield bolt, which is just to the left of the outer edge of the sun visor. And we're going to feed the tool in between the windshield and the roll bar until it pops out the bottom. Just flip this up so you can see it. So here we go. Tools popped out. Continue pulling until you see the bungee. I'm gonna grab the bungee, remove the tool, and now we're gonna take our clip, and remember we're going to attach the clip to the short, the short portion. So now we have the a longer clip on the bottom and basically you want to feed it back up you're going to with your fingers feel that there is an edge it's a metal leading edge of the uh, of the windshield and it clips into place just like that all right now that we've done the outermost t-bar bungee we're going to do one of the inner ones. So we're gonna use the exact same process as before. This time, let me just get rid of this. We're gonna locate the inner windshield bolt, which is right here, just next to uh, where the uh, visor clips into. And we're going to go to the outside of the bolt. So if we're on the driver's side, we're gonna do the driver's side of the windshield bolt. So we're gonna feed the tool through pops out, grab it, remove the tool. I'm gonna grab my clip. Again, I'm attaching it to the short side like that. It's in. And you can use the, the long portion of the clip to basically find the, um, the edge of the windshield frame. And then, clips into place, just like that. And I just tug it, and I know for sure that it's in. So repeat the exact same process for the corner and the middle one on the passenger side. So once you have all four of the T-bar bungees installed to the clips, congrats, that's the most difficult part of the installation. You didn't have to drop your windshield to install them. If you do decide to drop the windshield, it's a lot easier because you actually see the leading edge of the windshield that our windshield clips attach into. Uh, so you're not gonna be kind of feeling around until it clips, you actually get to see it. But as you can see, it's very doable to uh, accomplish attaching the clips without dropping the windshield. So once you have all four of the T-bar bungees in place, it's time to start attaching the sunshade. So we're gonna find the four grommets up front 
So remember, the Alien Sunshade logo goes to the back of your Jeep. So we're going to grab the first T-bar bungee like this, make sure it's straight, feed it through the corner grommet, flip the T-bar so it actually forms a T, and now it's attached. And now you can work your way down the line, installing the T-bars one by one. So once you have the four T-bar bungees attached, it's time to tackle the side bungees. So we have two grommets in the middle here. You're gonna take your short bungee, feed it from below up so that the bungee ball catches at the bottom. Feed it around the roller bar. And then attach it to the bungee ball, like so. Now there's one more on the side here, so grab another short bungee, feed it up, and around the roll bar, and then attach it to the bungee ball. And for the second side bungee, the grommet is going to always be in front of this um, connector piece that you see here. And don't worry about the fitment for now, we're going to adjust that in the final step. Now it's time to do the passenger side. So we're going to feed the bungee from the bottom up, around the roll bar. Don't be afraid to give it a nice tug. And around the bungee ball it goes. One more. So now we have both sides completed on your front shade. So now it's time to grab the medium sized bungees and we're gonna do the corners. So same deal as before, feed it from the bottom and we're gonna feed it through a corner hole here. Pull it down. this hole here so it's actually where the uh, the front edge of the rear door fits there's a little hole here grab the bungee and around the ball now it's taken shape we just have the two rear bungees to attach and we're all done so now we're in the rear of the vehicle to finish up the install. You're gonna to wanna to grab the longest bungees that you have. You should only have two left at this point. You're gonna feed it from the bottom, up and over the, uh, the, the roll bar here on the center of the vehicle, and around the bungee. Now we just have the, the other side to do. Up, pull, around, Attach to the bungee. You can just do a little bit of fine tuning as far as shifting the location of the bungee cords. Making sure that we have equal distance on all four sides. And we're all done. Your front alien sunshade is installed and ready to be enjoyed on your Jeep JL or JLU.